Assembling your unit is quick and easy. First, place the upper handle onto the base and push it down. Attach the handle with the two screws that are taped to the handle in a plastic bag. Next, insert the lower cord wrap and turn it to the left to lock into place. Then wrap the power cord around the cord release clips and clip the end of the plug to the power cord. Next, insert the end of the hose into the back of the vacuum and twist to lock into place. Now wrap the hose through the hose clip and connect the hose wand to the bottom of the vacuum. The accessories store on board the unit. The crevice tool can be found inside the extension wand. Let's learn how to operate your vacuum. To avoid damaging the cord, place the cord in the cord holder on the unit. Press the red power switch with your foot to turn on your vacuum. Press it again to turn it off once you're finished cleaning. Press the recline pedal to lean your vacuum back for cleaning convenience. To get even lower, press the recline pedal a second time. Once finished, lean your unit all the way back up to lock it into the upright position. You can easily raise or lower your vacuum to adjust to different flooring types by simply turning the knob to the desired floor setting. If the vacuum is too difficult to push, change to a higher setting. Your new Power Force Helix vacuum not only does a great job on your floors, it also comes with a complete set of accessory tools to make your above floor cleaning jobs easier. In the upright position, pick your accessory tool that best fits your needs and attach it to the end of the hose. It is important to perform various maintenance practices to maintain optimum performance for your machine. Press the empty button and pull the handle to lift the dirt container away from the vacuum. Holding the dirt container over a trash bin, press the release button on the back. Once empty, snap the bottom back into place. To clean the pre-motor filter, open the dirt container lid by lifting the release latch on the front. Remove the pre-motor filter and pull the filter out to clean. Once it's clean and dry, place it back in the dirt container lid. To clean your separator, the dirt container must be removed. Remove the separator by twisting to the left and removing. Rinse and dry all sections of the dirt container with paper towel. To replace the brush and belt, turn the vacuum off and unplug. Turn the unit over and unscrew the five Phillips head screws to remove the bottom cover. Pull the roller straight out, threading it through the belt. Replace the brush roll and belt by looping the belt over the motor shaft and the brush roll. Line up the end caps and pull the brush roll. This will stretch the belt. Align the belt by spinning the brush until centered. Once the brush roll is reinstalled, place the bottom cover back on and replace the screws. To clear a clog, Remove the hose from the back of the vacuum by twisting it to the left. Remove any debris that may have been clogged. Check the foot hose on the back of your vacuum towards the bottom. Remove the screw from the foot hose and check for clogs. Check the air passageway on the bottom of your vacuum. Remove the bottom cover and the brush. Remove any debris that may have been clogged. 